Hello guys, this is your boy Fast Blackman7 here, and today I'm going to give you another formation instructions and tactic video. This one's going to be about the 4231 narrow. I'm going to give you my best tactics and instructions for that formation. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, feel free to comment um, any formation so I, that I should do next, and I'll happily do it for you. And without further ado, let's get into the tactics for the 4231 now, shall we? So I'm going to show you two variations of it. This one is more balanced, this one is more defensive. So I'm going to start with the, def um, the balanced one, which is the defensive one. So the first style you want to use is balance. You don't want to go drop back or um, press, press on heavy touch. Otherwise you're going to leave yourself exposed. So balance is probably the best defensive style you can use at the start of the game. The width is on 5, you don't want to be too narrow or too wide at the start of the game. Um, this is probably the good, best balance you can use so you're not going to be exposed too much. The depth, now this is where it gets interesting. Now most people have used uh, 3 bar depth and I tried it out in that weekend league as well with the 442. And I didn't really like it too much, so I'm going to go 5 bars, so it's like balance. We're not going to get caught on the counter too much. Uh, offensive style we use is going to be balance. So we're going to have a mix of everything. Sometimes possession, play fast, long balls. You get options, so you get uh, plenty of options on how you want to attack your opponent. The whip is on, the width is on 5, so nothing too crazy. Same thing for players in the box is on 5. That's average. Corners and free kicks were on two because I don't want to get countered too easily. Now the instructions for the striker we ask him to stay central, game behind and stay forward. For the left attacking mid and right attacking mid, we leave them on balance. For the attacking midfielder, you want him to stay forward and free roll. Now this one's very key. If you leave him on balance, it means that your def the, um, the opponent will defend your camp very easily. If you have this one on free roam, it means that he will shift left to right, forwards, backwards, he will confuse your opponent's um, defense. Now for the CDMs, now I like to have both of them on cup pass lanes and cover center. Now here's the trick. Now, with your most defensive minded player, I advise you to put him on, stay back while attacking. And for the one that's more box to box, you leave them on again, cut pass lane, cover center, and balance attack. That way, that player will try and distract one of your one of the up, up is your opponent's um, defense, and he can go up and down very easily. He can also defend, so he has to be more box to box. And you have your other players going to sit back more, cut those pass lanes, and be like a nuisance, and also protect the back four. For the fullbacks, now most people will again will go stable while attacking. But for me, I go balanced because let's think about it, like in a 4-2-3-1 where you have one striker, right? Your striker is the only one you only got one striker and he needs support. So for me, you need him on balanced attack for both of your fullbacks. If your fullbacks have about over ninety about over um 89 stamina then it's okay then you can use them on balance attack but if your players don't have enough stamina i advise you to leave it on stable attacking this is more advanced so again you have your full burst bombing up the field and you create more chances so only use this um, balance attack if your full backs have high stamina if not stable attacking so that's the, that's the um, balance one. That's the more balance formation that I use. Now we're going to go to the other uh, variation of the 4-2-3-1. So this one's a bit more different. So this is the 4-2-3-1 um, the now again. But this is to like close our game. So we go drop um, we go drop back because you're defending the lead and you need to have many players behind the ball and to just close out the game. The width we have it on 3. Again, you don't want to um, go super wide, especially if you're trying to close our game. 
the depth is on three bars you don't want to leave any spaces behind uh, offensive style is going to be balance the width you're going to have on wide so therefore once you win the ball back you can easily counter attack your opponents very easily on the wings players in the box you don't really have many players into the box so three bars corners and free kicks on one bars now for the instructions for the 4 2 3 1 this is the most defensive one by the way people let's start with the goalkeeper just leave him on balance don't play around for too much center back as well just leave him on balance I'm not bad, they were attacking. The full backs, now in this case, because I want to close our game, it's going to be stay by while attacking. For the CDMs, you want them to cut the parcel lane, stay by attacking and cover center. If you don't have this on, this one, have it on, if you have it on cover wing, you're going to leave massive space in the middle of the pitch. So cover center people, please. Now for the right attacking mid and the left attacking mid, you want them on comeback on defense, you want to uh, defend as a unit and yeah, you don't want to get yourself, you want to um, have as many players behind the ball as possible. And for the attack and for the central attacking midfielder, you leave it on balance. And for the striker, you have it on stay central, game behind stay forward, because you, you do need that outlet. You do need someone to at least make some attacking runs okay you do need someone to score your counter attack and um, with the left attacking mid and right attacking mid because they have it on comeback on defense it will act like a 4-4-2 with the cam be on balance so these two players will drop where um in between like in line of Casemiro and Delaney so these two players will drop back and it will create a 4-4-2 or a 4 Four one one in that situation, so yeah, that's why I have it on comeback on the fence just to be more compact and not allow my opponent to score really. And that is it for the four two three one, uh, a balanced formation and a defensive um, tactic I use. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later on Thursday. Take care. Goodbye.